Well, first of all, I have never felt more positive about the cable industry than I do right now, but our challenges remain what they have always been. We've got to make sure that the regulatory environment and framework stay stable and steady for us. Uh, we've got to reinvent our video platforms and stay really innovative uh, on the video front. And, um, you know, we've got to make sure we're keeping our lead in broadband. And those, if we get those three things right, I feel really good about the cable industry in Europe. The challenges are the changing technology allows uh, so many more things to happen, so many more ways for content to get to consumers. And the challenge is how to harness that, how to figure out to, how to make it all work into an incredible consumer offering. Of the cable industry, you know, I mean, the, I think challenges, there are plenty of opportunities, uh, but certainly, you know, like moving from just basically being a deliverer of content to finding a new role, which is potentially producing, but also obviously connecting people to the internet, you know, how does this affect, you know, it's a completely new world, is, uh, you know, how do you change with that is challenging, but it's also obviously opens up new horizons, which had not been been there 10, 15 years ago. So I think that's that's what it is. And it's at the end, it's, you know, rather than just having a pipe into homes, it's how do you engage with, with viewers kind of downstreams, but also how do you interact and, and manage kind of the upstream part with the content producers and, uh, and other elements in, in the industry. And this expansion obviously gets you kind of into the territory of other potential competitors and collaborators which uh, which can add spice to the soup well I think the main challenges of our industry relate to uh, the increasing complexity in our business and the need to continue to simplify the customer experience we're in an environment where we're introducing entertainment anywhere anytime on any device in the home out of the home and I think uh, uh, doing that in a high quality way is very much necessary and I think we're moving in that direction quite well. Uh, well particularly for me I'm working in the B2B area so I think for B2B in Europe it's really to show the phenomenal growth that we have also seen with cable companies in the US and I think in Europe we're still in the improvement phase so I, I think we still try to prove and, and, and we have already shown a lot of success uh, but really going into the triple double digit growth that uh, the US guys have been showing. I think that's our major challenge. I think there's a big shift happening in the way that people consume content and have access to content. So a lot of that is uh, related to technology and uh, we'll see where it goes. But I think that uh, from, from our side, as long as you've got uh, compelling content, whether it's uh, TV series that everyone wants to watch or live sports or whatever it is, that our pay TV industry is going to be able to deal with it. I think the main challenges are going to be choosing what I call right from right, which is uh, there are lots of opportunities, opportunities to delight customers. And I think in many ways, cable operators and MSOs in general need to be more focused on delivering fewer things in a, in a, in a good way and in, with a good customer experience. And uh, certainly, I think ruthless prioritization it's probably going to be a challenge for the industry, especially given the pace of change in general. The, con the consumer is now a content creator and is a critic, and there's no way that we can be in control anymore. Uh, I think it's a big challenge, but I think it's also a huge opportunity in the fact that we can, we can use those connections and we can use the sort of multimedia marketplace that we now have at our disposal to really connect properly with our audiences. Um, and once we have them as fans, they can create and uh, curate our content for us. I think the challenges in our industry overall are that there is a massive amount of change that's happening that's driven by consumers and technology, um, change that's faster than it's ever been before. And really it's all about keeping up with that and figuring out what the next thing, what the next step is in that as well. There's a couple of big challenges that we're facing right now. One is um, consolidation within the industry. People are sort of managing merger activities at the same time facing um, a much more hyper competitive market out there. So we're always looking over our shoulder uh, at the competitors that are coming from all the new places, over the top, wireless, the PTT. So it's a, it's a tough, tough industry. I think the biggest challenge in our industry is that we start seeing each other as friends rather than competitors. Right now, I think most of the customers are looking for the content that we can provide, but we just withhold it. 
And I think that's bad. You know, if we start working together, get the content out to the customers quicker, better form, easier to reach, they're willing to pay for it. So I think we leave a lot of money on the table.